Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. The world has seen a barrage of natural disasters over the centuries that have unexpectedly shaken whole nations and caused catastrophic losses of life and destruction of property. And although we somehow managed to survive each of these disasters, we've always known that there's another big one coming, an apocalyptic event of epic proportions. The question you need to be asking, where will you hide if a natural or man-made disaster strikes? For some people, underground bunkers are the solution to survive nature's most violent rage of man's ultimate blunders. From tech billionaires, heads of states, and survivalists to ordinary folks in America, people are buying underground doomsday bunkers, storm shelters, and secure panic rooms to prep for whatever's coming. Join us as we take you to 10 secret underground bunkers built in houses. Also, be sure to stay to the end of the video to find out how life is living inside a real missile silo. Number 10. Aristocrat Underground Bunker Talk of an underground bunker and most people will think of dark, thick concrete rooms filled with rows of metal bunk beds and towering boxes of canned goods to get the occupants through doomsday. But that's not how the world's elite designed their underground secret shelters. Tech billionaires, hedge fund managers, top government executives, corporate titans, and sports stars will ride out an apocalypse in their million dollar luxurious secret shelters. These bunkers have all the comforts of their luxurious home so that the experience they have with their family and staff is closer to their daily routines. For a little over $8 million, the super rich can buy and have the aristocrat underground bunker complex constructed right under their homes. This is a glamorous secret hideaway bunker designed by the Texas-based Rising S Bunkers Company. Being their luxury line, these bunkers are designed to offer buyers all the comforts of modern living, while providing protection against anything from nuclear strikes to catastrophic natural disasters. The bunker's hatch is typically positioned behind a false wall, which will be undetectable to the naked eye. Only the homeowner and the family or designated staff can know how to access the five-star secret underground bunker. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, the Opidum Complex. In the magnificent countryside of the Czech Republic, lies the Opidum secret estate behind thick, high walls. It is a spectacular 323,000 square foot property with the world's largest doomsday shelter hidden beneath its above ground residential estate. Information about this prestigious doomsday facility is classified. Only the super rich can access the finer details through a secure, password protected online portal. Although we do know it was built between 1984 and 1994 at the height of the Cold War. What's fascinating about this estate is the deluxe bunker built beneath the buildings at ground level. The bunker is accessed through a secret corridor that is securely sealed once all inhabitants have been safely settled inside. There, the residents can remain isolated and protected from natural catastrophes, outbreaks and diseases, zombie attacks, and threats of war. The subterranean safe house will host its affluent guests for up to 10 years, providing everything they need in terms of food and drink, medical, surgical facilities, and other necessities. But it's the high-end furnished living spaces and the ultra-sophisticated entertainment features that have the opium a fine hideaway for the mega-rich. Talk about riding out an apocalypse in style. Number 8. Cold War Bunker in Aurora, Ontario Inside this home in Aurora is a Cold War era nuclear bunker that sits hidden underground. The charming four bedroom farmhouse was built in 1870 and was used as a nuclear control center in the 60s, a time when nations of the world were on edge and the threat of hydrogen bombs were more real than ever. We are long past the Cold War era now, but that is not to say such a facility has run out of its usefulness. Well, at least not to the current owner who has purchased the property from Toronto City Council in the 90s. Nuclear threat is not imminent, but if you have six-figure offshore accounts, this house is the perfect place to hide away with family in the event of harsh weather, energy shortage, and other calamities. The underground bunker, which was the command center, was built to endure hard-hitting man-made and natural disasters, as well as a nuclear strike, as originally intended. While most of the property's historic value has been maintained, the house and the bunker can still do a little furnishing if you want to ride out a calamity in style. 
Number seven, U.S. President's Apocalypse Bunker. As countries like Iran and North Korea accelerate the buildup of nuclear and other weapons of mass destruction under the radar of the international community, talk of nuclear-related sanctions takes center stage. But for the U.S. government, the looming nuclear threats mean it's time to knock the dust off their underutilized apocalypse bunkers built to protect government officials in the event of a nuclear Armageddon. The first order of business, get the president to a safe and secure location. There are several doomsday facilities built to host the president through such nightmare events, but it is the underground bunker under the White House complex, East Wing, that the president will most likely end up. The mysterious bunker was built in the 1940s, as the world entered the atomic age. While it is not a glorified presidential bunker, it is a fully equipped panic room where the president and a few Washington elites can hide out while preserving order in the aftermath of an attack. The only part of the bunker known to the public is the briefing room, which looks almost exactly like the Situation Room. This is a location where Vice President Dick Cheney, his wife, and other officials including the Secretary of State and the Army Major were whisked to safety during the 9-11 attack. Number 6. Gaddafi's Bomb-Proof Underground City The Gaddafi family's billions to have been siphoned out of the country's vast oil well. The family was estimated to be worth over $200 billion, and their lifestyle reflected the 12-figure bank account. But it was only after Gaddafi's regime was toppled that the world was able to see just how deep Colonel Muammar Gaddafi's pockets ran. Normally, it was only then the Libyans and the world got a glimpse of the Colonel's regular summer retreat. It was a sprawling 10-acre hillside villa, believed to have an extensive network of secret underground tunnels for Gaddafi and his closest family to escape if under attack. A passage located in the shower room of the villa's indoor swimming pool annex led to the underground city secured by blast-proof doors with heavy bolts. The German-built bunker was so large that the family had to use golf carts to get around. There were several rooms down there, mostly the family's living areas. They had track lighting for light and a large diesel generator secured with a blast-proof door and it would provide power in an outage. Through another room, a huge computer mainframe, and in yet another room, a secret subterranean broadcasting station, both protected with heavy steel blast doors. Guests were not allowed inside the secret inner sanctum of the Gaddafis. Number five, Saddam Hussein's spider hole. Often dubbed Saddam's last stand, the underground one-man crawl space in the remote farmhouse marked the end of the road for Saddam Hussein's nine-month escape since the beginning of the U.S.-led invasion and manhunt of what they called a high-value target number one. The tiny spider hole was obviously not built to take an aerial strike, nor will it remain standing if there was ever the slightest tremor. The fleeing Iraqi ex-president likely chose that location for its inaccessibility. That tiny spider hole served its purpose when the U.S. forces found his hideout and breached the one-room shack in the firm house. Albeit, his cover was brief. But the most fascinating thing about all of this is that Saddam Hussein did in fact own several lavish palaces across Iraq, most of which were suspected to have secret subterranean bomb-proof bunkers where the ex-president could hide from for months, if not years. Number 4. Underground Storm Shelters If you thought bunkers were just meant for billionaires and government officials, think again. Most people across the U.S. have invested in a single-family doomsday shelter and bunker. These are not sophisticated underground complexes with vast living spaces and lavish furnishings. On the contrary, most of these underground shelters are meant to host anywhere between one person and a small family. Due to the minimal size of such underground bunkers, they are meant for short-term use. These shelters will not withstand a nuclear strike, but they provide iron clan protection against tornadoes and other natural disasters. Companies like the F5 Storm Shelters and Atlas Shelters have been at the forefront providing affordable bunkers and shelters across the U.S. To ensure complete secrecy, these companies do not report on the locations of the private units they installed. For all you know, 50% of homes in the U.S. could be having a hidden hatch on the floor, leading to a secret underground bunker. Number 3. Subterranean House in Las Vegas when a 15,000 square foot luxury Cold War era house in Nevada went up for sale, potential buyers had to look for it 26 feet down below. And they'd had to dig $18 million deep into their pockets as well. The whole house is like a massive bunker house, perfect for any underground living enthusiast. 
It is equipped with surface ventilation and special lighting that simulates dawn, day, and dusk. Coupled with the fox vegetation and hand-painted murals of convincing sceneries, the almost natural atmosphere created feels, surprisingly, similar to an above-ground home. And although it was not built to be disaster-proof, there's no denying that this subterranean home would be the perfect place to host a party. At least, that's what the listing agent thinks. Well, there is a vast party space available, and I guess party animals would enjoy the indoor, or should we say underground, pool and built-in bar. Come to think of it, don't you think it would make an amazing special events location? Now it's time for today's best pick. We found this extraordinary presidential compound that was designed to be a fortress. And although this house features the highest level of security and innovation, guests here will be asked to hide under the beds when the alarms go off. Let's find out why. Number two, the Rice House. Feast your eyes on what the realtors are calling the safest house in America. It is a $14.7 million fortress located in Metro Atlanta. Constructed in 2010 and designed for an acting president, this home's state-of-the-art security features make it perfect for the most paranoid billionaire. Like the White House, the Rice House has a 15,000 square foot command center underground bunker, fortified with thick reinforced concrete walls. Ballistic doors, fireproof and bulletproof windows, impenetrable walls, and hidden panic rooms in various locations in the house are some of the security features that come with it. But perhaps the most impressive feature is the panic rooms built in every bedroom in the house. So if you ever happen to be sleeping and the alarm goes off, you can simply pull up the bed to reveal a hidden staircase leading to a hatch for the bunker below the bed. Every entrance in the house has a secure three-layer Kevlar, and the doors are said to be wirelessly controlled from anywhere in the house. Number one. Atlas Missile Silo House Coming top on our list is the Atlas Nuclear Missile Silo that was decommissioned and converted into a maximum security residential home. Don't worry, the silo no longer houses a nuclear warhead, but much of the command center's original equipment remains intact. On the outside, the defunct Cold War era facility looks like a countryside retreat, sitting on 3,000 square feet of space. The surrounding forest provides natural cover and protection. Although the home is not gated, it is private property. The rustic stick-built house with a stone wall porch is the main residential area, which is just enough to house a single family. The silo complex, however, hosts other property, but those are not livable spaces. In the event of a natural disaster, heck, even an intercontinental ballistic missile strike, the homeowner and family can hurry to the gigantic missile bay and control center below their house. The underground facility extends two floors and 40 feet down. It is made from top quality concrete and high grade steel to military standards to withstand any ground and aerial assault. This secure subterranean area is what has been converted into a friendly, livable space to act as the family's doomsday bunker. That's it for today's video on secret underground bunkers you'll find in houses. Since you're here, we have a small favor to ask. Click the like, subscribe, and bell buttons, and we'll notify you every time a fantastic video just like this one comes up. See you on the next one.